All right, so this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading, April t uh, April 6th, excuse me, to April 12th, uh, 2020. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you like the way I read tarot, I am now offering online tarot, co tarot courses or tarot classes where I'm going to explain you... Um, the cards in terms of career, in terms of relationship, how to answer uh, different type of questions and as well how they stand in terms of neg negative and positive aspects and in the uh, different positions in, in a spread. So uh, that being said, moving into the uh, spread straight away of the week, the first one which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the Hierophant. Followed by the next one here, which represents the um, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is going to be uh, the um, Queen of Cups. Afterwards, it is uh, the challenges that you have to overcome. And that's a big one here, guys. That will be the, uh, the, uh, her the Hermit. So we do have the Hierophant and then we do have the Hermit. These are like the two brothers in the, uh, in the Tarot. Followed by the next one, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. And that's also a, a big one here. We have the four of wands. Followed by the next one, which stands as the how people are going to look at you. What kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the judgment. And the last one, it is the guidance that Taro is offering uh, we have the King of Swords here. Very, very interesting one. All right. So what happens uh, throughout the week here in terms of uh, the energies and in terms of the topic, it is that, well, I would say that way your emotions are going to finally start flowing into the right direction. And under finally, I mean that uh, until now, if you had some sort of an emotional distress or you felt like, your world was gray now you will have a an emotional flow that goes into the right direction one way or another in a sense of that that could be uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily about romans here guys as a matter of fact if it is about romans it has a a long way before it developed in a way that you can finally say all right i love this person but uh, if it does relate to some sort of a uh, or of a romance or flirting those cards here are pointing that at the very least you're gonna start kind of like attaching yourself in one way or another to the situation that is because the queen of cups points that whatever it is happening to you throughout the week in terms of energies it will not make you see but more like understand that this is what you need in order to start cherish your emotions and your um how can i say it, your feelings so in other words you're gonna feel yourself loved you're gonna feel yourself cherished you're gonna feel yourself appreciated one more time if you have not been feeling yourself that way up until this point but the the very point of the card in terms of energies it is that you are gonna sense that your emotions are finally in check in the sense of the day uh, they are at the right place where they need to be and from there you will keep on nurturing and cherishing them so you can find yourself transformed at the end of the day which end of the day may not be in this week you know but that week it is the process where you are finally feeling yourself like your your emotions are now safe and sound and sound which will provoke the situation itself and that is the situation of the hierophant so the hierophant in terms of situation it's a, a very very broad card but at what it points it is that this is the not the natural course but the ordinary stuff that it is happening saying that um well it's very difficult to describe it um it's like you oh my god that's that's a tough one guys because i know the answer it is just 
to translate it, it is so tough. It's like knowing that what is what is happening, it is the right thing to happen, okay? So it's not like you are on the right place, but it is the right thing to happen. So say that um, you are uh, just started a job and your boss is giving you a hard time and you sense that that is the right thing to happen because they want to see what you are made of, because you want to see what, what you are capable of, because you are they want to see how far you can go. And instead of being aggravated by the, by the hard time that your boss is giving you, you will know that this is the way you improve this is the way you grow in this company and that is exactly what is going to cause your emotional stability here that the energies are pointing into this is exactly what is going to cause this emotional overflow or a flow if you will into the right direction uh not to mention as well <clears throat> on a very different aspect here it is that these two cards are pointing that if you are baffled by what you are feeling okay toward a specific person especially uh this week is going to be a week where you're going to talk about it with this person without feeling shame or a shyness or even a, a pride that was also something about scorpio but for you sagittarius is going to be on a very very different level here because the scorpio it is something initial while with you you just want to know and uh you are to face understanding as well with the hierophant here because the final because the hierophant places a, a very profound concepts and very profound conversations as well in regards to in this case what you feel and are those feelings true or are they alienated or are they alien feelings that has nothing to do with the reality uh, <clears throat> and once you do so uh, say the least you are to identify the real meaning of love okay one way or another is it happening or not you are going to identify the real meaning of love because especially uh, when we're talking about relationships with those two cards the emotions are not going to be something that lacks here with those energies what may lack it is the sense of of trust that you may have into this person or that person may have into you and that is going to be the topic of the conversations in case we're talking about romans but to say the least here with the hierophant and those two cards you are to go into the direction or what is happening to you it is so you can be set on the direction you need to go forward this is where your growth lies this is where your life lies and you should not try to pull yourself away from it just saying because looking at the third card here which is the um, hermit it only points that you are going to have a rough time or challenging time to believe or to and to accept not to believe to accept that that is your thing this is the substantial moment you have waited so you can have your life moving forward in term of career or in term of relationship say someone approaches you with a uh, with a proposal for a, a job you know you may have a hard time believing that that is the job for you to do while it is it is the job that will yes you are going to start from the very bottom of the hierarchy there okay the very bottom but you have an, an immense opportunity not opportunity but field to climb into the ladder of the hierarchy so starting from an errand boy boy in the future you can end up as a ceo okay and you may have like said a, a rough time understanding that that is your thing just because the very beginning it does not look that not hopeful but promising it is the word that i would say uh, another thing with the Hierophant, it's about the intelligence and it's about the uh, the wisdom. I'm not, not, I'm not saying that you are not intelligent and that you are not wise, okay? But it will be a rough time to allow the intelligence and the wisdom to speak for you. That is because you are going to have so many emotions that are running and streaming through or to, uh, from you that you may be blinded by them in one or another way for one or another reason. For example, someone says something inappropriate and because those emotions are so many, you speak out of emotions rather than from a wisdom and intelligence, which you do have. You just have uh, allowed your, you know, 
emotional sensitivity to uh, to cloud them here and that's why it will be important to take your time whenever you want to answer something or whenever you want to do something as well to identify the right approach of uh, this thing because everything for what it seems that is happening to you it will be substantial for your future improvement in life so what is going to be the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy and that is a, a beautiful card it just says that a, a chapter not chapter but a, a cycle in your life has ended successfully to mention and now it's time to jump into the next one so if you have been single for example that week it is the ending of that cycle of being single and uh, next cycle could also be where you're single but that is because you will decide to be that way not because you have been deprived of being that way uh, which could point that if you are single that week it is the week where you're going to start for example talking with someone or this is the week where you will start uh, flirting say you know or just to get to know someone that is on the same page with you or at least can get into the same page with you the very least this person is gonna make you feel emotionally stable and like cherished and like you know appreciated looking from the uh from the uh, from the energies that are supporting the topic here and all that comes is negotiating the rules with the hierophant and taking it easy okay that that's also very important but to say the least we are definitely seeing here a, a successful finalization of a cycle career wise or relationship wise that allow you to jump into the next stage not the next level the next stage there are differences there so what impression you're going to leave into the people around we do have the just the judgment people are going to be envy well i can't blame them for that judgment said that people will see that you have finally have boarded your ship with the judgment that you are having your your puzzle placed or pieced together that uh up until this point if you have not know what to do they will see that the answer is in front of you or this is what their impression is going to be it may not be obvious for you though okay but it is just the people will kind of like going to be envy about the luck that you're going to have hopefully you are going to see it as well as they are going to see it for you also now with the judgment uh it's important to know that uh people will want to be at your shoes because um whatever the judgment offers because judgment always offers a, a way out or if we can say here a, a solution you know solution to the problem of being single solution to the problem of being jobless solution to uh, any kind of problem in the current relationship or in a current career and people will want to be at your shoes because they they will want to have that solution well you're going to have it hopefully you will be able to take advantage of it and the final one, it is the guidance the Tower is offering. We do have the King of Swords, and that is a very interesting card having it here. Uh, the King of Swords points that, um, and it's very related to the to the uh, previous card here. It does point to whatever difficulty you are facing, even if that's a difficulty to accept someone or to accept the proposition or to accept the, a job or to accept the something, you know. Uh, you should not rush it, but the way how to accept it or the way how to make it work will be revealed only through a careful analysis over your uh, over your options available or how over your strategy how to how to manifest it. And another thing about the King of Swords here, Sagittarius, it is that whatever you decide to do or whatever plans you have. This is the week where you need to support those plans, those strategies, and those goals with a, a very effective and decisive measures. So do not slug, guys. This is your week to set yourself on track. So that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. Once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, Checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And if you like the way I interpret tarot cards, um, you can sign up for my online classes where I'm going to explain you the tarot cards in terms of career, in terms of relationship, negative aspect, positive aspect, and how they stand into a, a dedicated spread. 
Uh, you can sign up uh, for those classes again from my website and uh, hopefully now you're going to stay safe for the duration of the crisis that we are all in and uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.